we've always thought we've had a good chance of getting a medal uh, and even winning it because we've had such a good track record. Um, ever since 200 metres has become an Olympic discipline, we've medalled at every single international event we've been to for the last three years. And at what point during the race did you think we might, we've got this, we've, we've actually got a medal? Uh, it's when we crossed the finish line. I mean, you, you sit so fast and you're so focused on, on what you're doing, you have no time to really worry about what everyone else is doing. Uh, you just put your head down and go. And, and the first time we looked across was at the finish line uh, and we only saw two boats ahead of us, just next to us. Um, so absolutely amazing feeling. It was absolutely incredible to have the home games and to be a part of the home games. It's an absolutely crazy experience. Um, and to have the whole of Britain behind us, uh, everyone down at the course cheering as well, the noise was absolutely ph phenomenal. You know, you, it's hard to describe, it's just like a wall of noise hissing you uh, and inspiring you to, to achieve your, your dreams. It's going to mean a lot for our sport as well. We need younger generations coming into the sport because we're getting older and we're not going to be around forever. Uh, we, we love the sport and to have more people involved and a greater uh, success in the sport is something I think everyone dreams of. And how did you get into uh, the sport yourself? It was a, a holiday fund scheme in Guildford uh, quite a few years ago now which got me involved. They get kids in the summer holidays to do different activities and stuff at the time uh, and I went along to Way Kite Club, uh, had a go and enjoyed it and I had a lot of friends that enjoyed it as well and it just went from there as kind of a social group as well as just, just having, having a laugh. At what point did you think you could do this at a, a seriously good level? Um, it, it was kind of gradual. Uh, you went to your first internationals, or first nationals rather, and you started to get better and better and noticed by the national team and then you went away doing smaller internationals and then slowly growing to bigger internationals. But it, the Olympic Games always felt a little bit out of reach for me when I was a, a junior and under 23. Um, and it's only been in the last four years that it's actually been a realistic dream of mine. Uh, it's always been a dream, but it, it turned very real when we started winning the medals uh, in K2-200, uh, only, only three or four years ago. I love what I'm doing and uh, I'm going to continue doing that as long as I can. I feel I'm able and I still think I've got more to, to give to the sport and uh, hopefully, yeah, Rio comes around four years' time, we'll do better than we've done, done in London.